Hi everybody, it's Jenny Bond here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing my AOFM progress part 2. If you haven't watched my first AOFM video or my Academy of Freelance Makeup online makeup school video, then click the card right here and it would take you there. Also check the link on my bio. And also check the link down under the description box. Here I'm going to be talking about all these frequently asked questions that I receive from you guys who message me on my Instagram, on my YouTube, or even emailed me. So I will answer all your questions in this video. And a bonus is that I would also show you some of my work that I've already submitted in AOFM just to get you, uh, just to give you a glimpse of what you should expect from um, the modules that uh, the, that's like included on the makeup course. Also, I would also give you my progress report and feedback on how am I doing with my current core with my current modules right now. I actually unlock um, some rewards already in the system of their course, so. Now I'm like, so now I'm like receiving a lot of like huge di makeup discounts from um, different brands and I would also tackle all the struggles I've been encountering in this course and also my overall thoughts about this whole makeup course from Academy of Freelance Makeup. So let's start! The first question I always receive is that how much I paid for the AOFM in the United States. So as you all know, AOFM online course is from London. When you pay the course from United States, if you're Amer American or if you're like currently residing in the United States, you need to pay. It's fine if you pay it using USD, but they would they would automatically convert the online course fee into um the amount you should you should need to pay so i paid around 1500 for my course so i think in the the website it's around 1099 euros but what i paid is like in usd so i paid more what are the difference of um, the YouTube makeup tutorial videos from AOFM course videos. In my perspective and in my own opinion, YouTube tutorials will only give you um, this tutorial videos, makeup tutorial videos about mostly all these beauty gurus are doing their makeup on themselves and with that, you can't really know how to... With that, it's hard for you to gain some knowledge on how to apply makeup on the other people. And it's really, really important if you want to become a makeup artist to be able to apply makeup with other people because that's how you're going to get clients. That's your job to put makeup on other people's faces. So um, a lot of like beauty gurus would teach you some skills that they've learned, that they taught themselves on how like the techniques, how to blend, how to pack colors, how to make colors pigmented. And all of them, all of the YouTube videos I've seen are like most of them are like they like just put on themselves. Or they would also, there's also some videos out there that they would teach you how to apply it on a model. But then I feel like most of those videos are very biased videos because they are using the products that are sponsored. The information you're getting from YouTube videos aren't really um, wide and most of them are not really fundamentals and basic. And I think if you want to be a professional makeup artist, you need to touch the fundamentals and the basics of makeup artistry. So then from 
that point, once you go forward and level up your makeup artistry skills, you would always go back to your fundamentals and um, it's a really really helpful to enhance the look on your models faces if you practice a lot of the applications not on your own face but with uh, different types of models faces and aside from that from i think other online makeup schools that i've researched they only have one celebrity makeup artist that's like showing you all these um modules or this tips and techniques which I think is not that great because I feel like you should learn from different types of um, uh, makeup artists you should learn from different types of teachers as like every teacher has their own um, expertise if you know what I mean so in my own opinion if you had experience working with other makeup artists i don't think you still need to take this course because you could you have the experience on working with makeup artists and you already learned so much things from them so i don't think you need this course but if you're like me who had who hasn't worked with any makeup artist who's never become a makeup artist apprentice then this course would really help you understand and will give you the basic knowledge about the makeup artist industry or the makeup artistry or this course will help you give the knowledge that you need to become a successful makeup artist in the future next question is how is your mentor response and guidance towards your course so my mentor um my mentor's name is danielle and danny for short and i've um my mentor is really nice and really helpful but then sometimes i feel like she's not there all throughout my course as if like this one time like I had a major difficulty or technical issue about their website it's like me uploading my uh, assessment online and then uh, the website keeps rejecting my pictures for I don't for any other reason and then uh, I tried contacting her emailing her from that website itself and then I got response for like a week or so in as what I could remember and I feel like if you're in a rush to get a makeup certification if you're in a rush to get your makeup certification this is really really bad because like if you try your best to finish all the assessments quickly the ones holding you back is your mentor if your mentor some is for some reason so busy and could not check or like guide you or like answer any of your questions then you're gonna be stuck and then i had this experience wherein i submitted my assessment and i failed um well there's not there's no word failed actually it just she's one she would just say you didn't pass this module so then i tried to redo it but then she gave me the feedback after a week so then i need to book another model and then it's hard booking models especially if you like me i'm uh, i'm just uh, like it's hard for me to book models because uh, i don't really know that much people here in my um city right now because i just moved here in my current city so i don't know anybody that i could ask to become my model but if you have so many friends and so many um family members at home that's like female then i think that would work out so well so then yeah my mentor guidance towards my modules are i feel like if i'm gonna grade her it's gonna be five out of ten I guess five or six out of ten like I like the way she gave me feedbacks like she would tell me I hope next time you'll blend the eyeshadow more or I hope next time 
you you put eyeliner or stuff like that or I want you to redo this specific um, assessment because the lip lipstick doesn't look nice on her and stuff like that but she's quite honest my mentor is quite honest but then I feel like the professionalism is a bit lacking as also there's one time I had the chance to meet her one-on-one -on -one. so during the course there's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one assessment wherein you need to see your mentor face to face and you need to have a makeup demonstration in front of her that is the assessment so the website again has a lot of issues and technical difficulty that I actually paid my model to come at a certain time and mind you um the time zone difference in the United States and London is like a bit like like around like 10 hours or so uh, I forgot so then if it's like 8 in the morning here I think there is around 4 p.m. so then I need to wake up around 8 in the morning to start my one-on-one -on -one assessment because I think that's the only time of the last time available is around like 8 in the morning here in the United States for her to assess me so that's the time and then uh, it's so hard for me of course waking up in the morning and finding models who would want to come around like 7 30 in my place to become my model for my, my assessment is quite difficult so that I need to really pay models or pay certain individuals to just um, come at this certain time of the day so I had this experience where I booked a model and then she came and then it's already 8 o'clock and I still had and still Danny is not showing up on our one-on-one -on -one assessment for some reason I think the website uh, and she gave me all these excuse and she gave me a reason that um, their Wi-Fi connection in their office is having trouble and she gave me a reason that there's like a Wi-Fi uh, there's like a Wi-Fi problem connection in their office which I think is pretty reasonable so I think it's fine so I was like okay then probably we need to sort these things out and I was like she told me to like change it for at 9 a.m. but then I couldn't do anything at my end on the website and change the time because it's not loading up so I feel like the website is not professionally made and there's a lot of technicalities difficulties a lot of bugs that they need to fix so then it would be much more user-friendly for students like us so that's my experience that I think I won't never forget from my mentor as that of course I paid money to book a model and then I cannot see my mentor and then we need to postpone my assessment for that day to another day which is a month after so even though you want to finish your modules right away your mentor would um would hold you back a little bit because it's depending on how fast she would answer you or give you feedback on your assessment so that pretty sucks but then let's see how it goes always um receive is that do you need to buy other makeup to complete your course assi assignment or assessment so as i've mentioned in my first um review video uh they would send you a makeup kit which contains a lot of products foundations um eyeshadows eyeliner mascara what else a face chart they would also send you a translucent powder and this, uh, makeup brushes that that I that's makeup brushes is my absolute favorite from that makeup kit for some reason I really really love their brushes it's really really nice and I always use it 
every time and it never disappoints me so yes and then the products that you'll be getting are all mac cosmetics products which i think is really really a plus of course the makeup kit that they would be sending to you is not enough to <laughs> complete all your assessments you need to have your own um makeup of course that you've purchased somewhere or some brand from other brands as well and um yeah so just a little bit of um, a tip make sure you have already some good um amount of different types of makeup products before you start this course because if you cannot afford to buy other makeup products and you want to start this course then that would hold you back because there's certain type of lipstick color that they would ask you during the assessment there's a certain type of um, eyeshadow color that they would ask you to copy or recreate in your model's face but so if you don't have those then I don't know you gotta be resourceful and find all those shades which I did completed um, module 1 up to module 9 and then from module 1 to module 9 I, f I feel like I will just bought like 5 to 6 other makeup products that I need for my model so a lot of them were um lip pencil on uh, some individual lashes also some gems I also purchased like some gems like this this is um these are the so you would be needing this for one of the assessment I forgot which part I think it's about that you would be needing that in one of the lip assessment module fun part of the video tutorials and the PDF notes that you would be getting from the course is that they would tell you exactly the products that they recommend and they think that's like really really good for for you or for your model and it's very unbiased like they do not pr they they're like in partner with um, MAC Cosmetic but most of the products they recommend a lot of like probably like 90% of them are not from my cosmetics so it's like a, a variety of different uh, makeup products and makeup brands that they trust and all those makeup artists use during their um for their client so I think it's pretty helpful and I really really it really excites me to read the part in the PDF notes where it's like recommended makeup products and I'm like oh okay I, I need to buy all those things because I know it's the best for my client and of course for myself so I think that's the fun part actually my profile and then here where you can see my mentors feedbacks and here are all the and here at this tab you see all your courses that you need to unlock so once you start your course you cannot see all the courses right away you would only see one uh, two to four courses that you need to complete first before you can open up other modules so now I'm currently in module 10 so as I mentioned um, before module 10 I had a one-on-one -on -one assessment with my mentor wherein we skyped online instead so then um, she gave me a feedback on how did I do she gave me she gave me a feedback on my first one-on-one -on -one makeup demonstration and and it only lasted about i think 30 minutes like an hour or around 45 minutes or so so then this is the module i'm currently working on is the module 10 makeup for different ethnicities and then as you can see from this module there are six um video 
There are six video courses that I need to watch. One video is about 15 to 30 minutes long. And then here you could download the notes, which is in PDF format. And these are, these are what you would see in the notes. They would give you um, the transcript from the video and also some other recommendations and suggestions or tips and tricks. And on this um, button here, you need to download your assessment. So it's in, also in a PDF format, wherein they would teach, they would ask you to complete a specific um, task accordingly. And wherein they would also tell you in this PDF how many models you should get. So for example, they would say you need um, nine phase images total that means you need three models because one model you need to take f a bit at least um no, 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 no. if they said you needed eight phase images that means you need to have two models it's because one model you need to take four different um, photos or shots so you need to take uh, you need to take a shot where in the model's face is looking in front of the camera you need to have the model's face looking onto the right onto the left and have their eyes closed so those are the type of um, pictures that you need to take and then how many models you need and how many face images you need to submit so sometimes if they said only nine nine images you need to submit then that means you don't you don't need to take a photo of wherein your model's eyes are closed because i think there's no eye makeup on that specific assessment so that's how it goes and a tip for you guys if you finish one um assessment be sure and you haven't like finished other other assessment be sure to upload the images already in one um for that specific course for a specific video upload the images assessment images for a specific video as soon as possible once you're done with that then upload it right away because what i did before i finished all the video videos and then before I upload all the assessments and I think there's one time I need to upload 60 images and it took me two days to be able to do that or like one full day to be able to do that because uploading one picture especially if you take the pic picture from a DSLR which is what I'm doing it takes like a minute or so I guess like a minute to to upload it like upload it to upload it successfully so if you have 60 Im images just think about how long you need to sit down on your computer and just uploading 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 it's really tiring and exhausting so my biggest advice is to upload your assessment right away it would take like a week or three to four days for your mentor to give you a feedback and then you need to wait for it and then another four three to four days again it would make your life pretty hell because you need to wait for a feedback to be able to move forward for your module so just upload it one single time i mean just submit your um, assessment in that specific module one time now you need to wait three to four or probably a week to be able to get your mentor's feedback regarding about your um, test. After that feedback, she will tell you if you pass or not. If you didn't pass a specific um, uh, part of the assessment, for example, you use, um, uh, you, 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 for example, you use a different types of different shade of lipstick on that model and they're asking you to use this specific shade of lipstick then you don't need to redo everything you just need to upload the specific um 
part of the assessment which your mentor mentioned to you that you need to redo. And after that, if she tell you you passed the module, she will unlock the next modules or sometimes it's already unlocked. So you're going to be able to move forward to the next module. But and now, as you can see here, I still couldn't open the module 14 to 19. That means I need to finish my module 10 to 13 and have my mentor check it and approve it before I'll be able to see the other videos, other contents, and for me to be able to move forward. So, so then if you're going to move to the module 11, for example, which is a celebrity red carpet beauty make sure you already submitted your test from module 10 so you're just waiting for the feedback while on the side you are already working with the next module so that's like good time management tip there on the same module I finished all the modules by one day. I could finish it one day because as you can see, for one module, if you have five videos, one video is about 20, uh, 15 to 30 minutes long. So if you're not really doing anything today, and you could just like sit down and watch all the videos and then probably if you have your, uh, if you have a family there that you could use as a model, you could work on your assessment assessment right away but on my part like for me I um, fin I try finishing all the videos um, from Monday to Friday and I try booking models around Tuesday and I book them usually during Saturday mornings so then one to two models I usually book one to two models every Saturday and then for one to two models, I usually um, create like two to three different looks for each model. My tip is that make sure to finish all the video first before booking models because some part of the assessment you could use a model, you could use the model twice. So you could create um, this smoky eye look and then a bridal makeup look for one model. and all you need is like one more model to complete your assessment so that's a really really smart move to finish your assessment right away so then i usually book two models every saturday and create about four different looks so then around sunday i would edit all the pictures and like um make sure my picture has the same size and it looks clear the exposure is not high so I want to talk about my struggles. So my current struggles right now in taking this course is that I, they don't have a good customer service or customer support. And I feel like it's really important because what if you experience a difficulty from the website or something happened you cannot recover your account what would you do who would you like um email and stuff like that so i actually emailed um their contact one time when i was uh, having trouble with my with the website and i cannot um book my one-on-one -on -one assessment f f with my mentor and then it's been months already and i haven't gotten any reply from them which is really really bad how long would be able you to finish this course so there's they didn't put the total hours that um for you to be able to finish the course so i think um that's one thing they should like put or like inform you like their course should be like if it's like a hundred hours of videos content you know what i mean because when I was um, applying for a pro student pro um, discount um, from Makeup Forever, I cannot, uh, they cannot, they couldn't get my application approved because I cannot submit the total number of hours from this course and they're asking that. 
what I did was I emailed I emailed the um, I emailed AOFM and all the the only answer I got from them is that um, we're really good partner with Makeup Forever. Probably you could just send the email again to them and they will approve it. Just tell them, just uh, give them the receipt or something like that. But Makeup Forever still didn't approve my application, which is sad. But then on the side note, once I unlock the Unit 5 reward with it, which is the my discount tab, I was able to get discounts from Makeup Forever through the Nigel Beauty Emporium website. So, still, I found a way. Another struggle is that the inconsistent time uh, feedbacks I always get from my mentor. Sometimes she'll be fast, she'll be sending me feedbacks around three to three days. Other times it's been like a week or two weeks and I still haven't gotten any response from her. So that's pretty um, bad. There's one thing I constantly struggle with. Like I always pray that she would answer right away because I want to finish this assessment right away and move on and unlock the module because I'm not doing anything. I'm free, right? So you want to finish all your modules right away. But if your uh, if your mentor didn't like give you feedback yet and didn't open the other modules yet, you cannot do anything. You need models to be able to finish and pass your test. I tried using my face one time, two times in the assessment and then they said I couldn't use my face. So um, be, be aware of that. Never ever use your face as the model because they know if you use it. I swear to God, they would know. I don't know how, but they would find out you use your face. Now for my advice, uh, my biggest, my first advice is for you to have a really um, good camera for your um, for your assignment. It doesn't have to be an expensive camera, but it should be a decent camera. I don't know if phone camera would work. I think if yeah, it it would break if you really have a nice like Apple, uh, iPhone stuff like that. But if you have like like a really lame or shitty camera on your phone, I don't think it would work because you gotta make the mentor should they they are grading you your work based from the pictures that you would upload and send to them. So if your pictures are blurry, if your pictures look shitty, sorry for that word, then they would fail you. So if you cannot afford to get a decent camera, a good lighting, and stuff like that, or get models, then just don't take this course because you cannot be able to move forward. Biggest advice, if you cannot book any models, you think you would hard time, you would be having a hard time booking models, then no, 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 do not take this course because you won't be able to move forward. Yes, so after signing up and once you receive the once you receive the receipt um, from them through email, make sure you screenshot it, keep it, and then apply to the makeup um, to make to other makeup brands um, makeup artistry pro student application for makeup artists, professionals or student. So what I did first, I applied in Sigma Beauty and MAC and I got discounts right away. For MAC Cosmetic, I received like 20% discounts on any purchases I would make and there's an annual fee of $15. For Sigma Beauty, it's totally free and the fun part about like having Sigma Beauty approve your um, makeup artistry pro application is that you would receive um, uh, like a like a what do you call this you would receive a box full of goodies and yeah if you want to know and learn how to be able to, how to apply in these brands and what did I do based on my experience then click the card right here click on the link on down in my description box I'll be sending you um, I'm gonna include my tips on how I did everything 
so I hope you guys learn so much from this video if you still have any questions on your mind right now then feel free to reach out to me comment down below send me a dm private message me do everything you can to reach out to me click all the links on my description box everything is are in there if you want to reach out to me and then Follow all my social media channels so we could be friends and be sure to subscribe and I hope you guys learn. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye!